Hi everyone, I'm speaking with you from Mexico, Playa del Carmen. And those of you who watched the first episode may remember that on the roof of our uh, building we have this very nice swimming pool with the city view. But unfortunately, after the first time I swam there, I had a body irritation. So now I'm kind of afraid going back there again. I don't know if it's for chemicals or for what. Anyway, this week we decided not to swim in the swimming pool, but to go to the ocean and to explore the best beaches in the neighborhood. Enjoy the video. The beach is very very nice and the water is just amazing it's really warm because it's not deep here and it's so transparent you can even see some fish uh, just near the coast so it's super nice the only thing it's like a natural reserve so you need to pay to enter and it costs six euro per person they give you a bracelet and you can then go to the beach. So if you think we are doing nothing all the time, it's not true. Today, the whole day, we are studying. Alessandro is a real nerd. Mm. He, <laughs> he's <laughs> studying... Uh, what? How is it called, Ali? Game audio. Game audio. And he's already ahead with his homework and everything, so... Yeah, I bring, you know, I bring things to life. Yeah, he was going on, you know, different type types of terrain and also there was a cat on his road. On so his what way. did you do basically? Uh, they gave you the empty image and you had to put the yeah, sounds, right? So, sort of. They give they give us something like this, uh, animations, and then you we have to put the sounds. It's nice because you think about uh, many, many things in the truth. It seems like just... You, you bring life you bring life to these characters, you know? Okay, so it's black peppers. No, black beans with uh, peppers, tomato and soya sauce, like Mexican style. You know? So you need to know guys that <laughs> We are married because Alessandro cooks. And she is alive because I cook. <laughs> so this is, you know, the di division, work division. How I say that? I cook and you wash the dishes. As we don't have any washing machine. Yeah, dish. in Italy we had a dishwasher. Yeah. Here I suffer a lot. Uh, Gracias. Come si chiama? Come si chiama? Molcajete. 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 Is it pietra volcanica? Yeah, claro. Okay. Gracias. Molcajete. Molcajete. I wanted to, to order this because of this uh, special plate. This is uh, typical for guacamole. Molca Molcajete. 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 Anyway. Buen provecho. It's volcanic. Uh, volcanic. So, yeah, so it's very heavy, but it's very nice, right? Playa Car is a closed residential neighborhood of Playa del Carmen. So it's a private uh, space and in order to enter, you need to be a resident 
or a visitor or you can just invent something like you need to go to a restaurant you have a res reservation for something uh, then they ask your document they check you and you can enter so there are many private villas hotels uh, and it's a very green and nice neighborhood. I've never seen so many good cars uh, before in Mexico because usually uh, there are only simple economic cars like Chevrolet or Nissan, but in this area I've seen Mercedes and BMW. So there are lots of uh, private clubs like golf club or beach club and so on. It's a very American style uh, place. Very unusual for Europe because I don't remember any place where you need to uh, past the checkpoint in order just to enter the area. So somehow we entered to the territory and parked our car, but we now don't know how to enter to the beach. <laughs> because uh, everyone asks for some bracelets, like uh, the hotel bracelets. And without them, uh, basically, you can't access uh, because uh, mostly the hotels are on the beach. I don't know if all the residents who live in these houses can access if they have a bracelet. Which bracelet you must have, like anyone, any color because I've seen people with different colors of the bracelets and anyway I think it's also quite annoying that you have to always be with the bracelet I mean you your tent will be with the bracelet anyway now we want to go to this beach I mean I want to go <laughs> Alessandro doesn't I hate you hate, what? hate it <laughs> I hate this place <laughs> Alessandro is a socialist he doesn't like these luxury places with the closed entrances. At the end, uh, we didn't access the beach strange, because strange, very strange. <laughs> we found one access, which is not. Um, we found one access which is not uh, uh, through the hotel, but through like a, a direct to the beach. But there was a gate and the person like security who asked us a special residence card so only if you leave and fly a car you can access to the beach which is really strange also because i read that in mexico all the beaches are public but as you can see in the reality it doesn't work always like that of course we could say some fly like our friends are waiting for us or i don't know invent something else but it's really strange so we decided just to go somewhere else to take our car again and go, go back to the normal cities. City, but again there was uh, a control we passed with the car saying that we are here for the restaurant and this place is famous for the dolphins and other animals you see they are in these special pools natural pools but again as a vegan person i think it's not the best uh, activity to do so if you come here don't swim with dolphins because they suffer staying here in these small places i think they would be much happier on the sea but apart from this uh, vegan thing, again, we are in another city, which it seems like uh, half private. Uh, so I'm not sure if we are going to uh, uh, have an access to the beach. Let's see this time. Finally, we are on the beach and I'm going to 
dress in right now in my swimming suit, Mexican style. Woo -hoo. amazing treasures I found on the beach and look <laughs> there is even a teeth I think it's a teeth of some fish I don't know and then these corals very beautiful and the other ones so yeah the sand here is all made with shells and corals, that's why it's never too hot, it's always fresh. And the water is very, very warm. But this place is quite cute. Yeah. Some lights. Or another dolphin. I mean poor ones. I think they have to leave freely. So finally we are back to Playa del Carmen and for now it's our favorite place because it's the real town, uh, not just uh, a private neighborhood, not artificial at all. It's quite touristic but no one asks you when you enter, no one asks you anything to go to the beach. So we feel better here. This is the square of uh, administration, a lot of local people, kids playing. I don't think you can see this in Playa Car. Mm -hmm. Try some cactus. Mm. Yeah. Wait, it's very hot. Cactus. This thing, uh, maybe it's placoi, I'm not sure, but it has cactus on top and spinach inside. And then it's again maize, right? Corn. <laughs> So like artisan market. Okay, I take this too. This is for swimming and this is Mexican style. Please. Handmade. By this beautiful girl. <laughs> Margarita with maracuya And my feet is on the sand That's my dream So we are close 
close to this Quinta Avenida. And look what's here under the restaurant. Woo! One cenote. Isn't it amazing? The Yucatan Peninsula is the world capital of cenotes. The caves filled with water, so it's like underground river, which is very, very long, and there are many spaces where you can enter the water, so cenote. But I will tell you more about them in one of my next episodes, which is dedicated to cenotes and scuba diving. <laughs>